Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and uh, this is the second part of the App Dynamics tutorial. In this uh, part of the series, we are going to install the App Dynamics uh, machine agent on the server to capture the system level matrix, and then we are going to perform some uh, stress on the machine so that App Dynamics controller can capture more uh, more matrix for the system so let's begin at this moment i do have a app dynamics controller is running and i do have a machine on which we are going to set up the machine agent before begin machine agent installation please make sure that you have the right configuration in the uh, in the uh, firewall for the app dynamics port uh, port 8090 and port 9191 so at this moment i am not using the firewall i am going to stop the uh, firewall on my demo machine i am shutting down okay firewall stop and disable on the machine next steps i am going to make some entry in the etc file make entry in the host file done make same entry in the controller machine this is this is my controller machine Okay. On the controller, we don't have any agent uh, uh, installation. Uh, you can see we have uh, zero agent uh, uh, on the controller. Uh, so first, we have to go in the home, then getting started in the getting started wizard, and uh, I am going to use currently the server. So go for the server and I am going to uh, set up the machine agent on the Linux machine. Uh, you can select Windows or any other machines. So I am selecting now Linux 64 bits and I am saying that uh, uh, configuration the controller. I am not uh, modifying anything and going to download the agent. Okay, so I am downloading the machine agent. Okay, I have downloaded the machine agent, and now let's go for unzip. Okay, now we require to copy this machine agent files from local machine to the server. So I am using the SCP command uh, to moving this folder from local to server. So before starting the machine agent, we require to uh, modify some configuration setting so go inside the machine agent folder or i can say uh, go for the modification of the controller info.xml file uh, this is the file we require to modify basically what we are doing we are trying to map a application name tier name and node name uh, so that uh, it can be easily uh, identifying or identifying or you know label mapping in the controller so let's modify the uh, settings in the controller.xml file okay 
so the force name force agent registration would be true application name you can give the application name i am giving open mrs road then node name i am giving the node name and ta name i am assigning here server and save it now second file we require to modify is uh, uh, monitor files uh, this is a second files we require to modify okay so there are there are couple of the settings we require to modify okay the first modification you have to do here Okay. We required uh, some more uh, some more modification on this file regarding the license and uh, uh, account. So here you can see here http one dot name is fine http event dot account name so you can get this information from the uh, from the controller so if you go inside go to settings click on license go into the accounts and you can see the customer uh, name is name is customer one global account name copy this and change here and access key you can copy from here and paste here okay go for save now we require to start the machine agent on this machine let's start it cd machine agent go for bin ls machine agent let's create another window to login on server okay so app dynamics machine agent successfully started we can verify in the app dynamics controller go for applications go for peers and nodes Okay. Okay. Let's wait for it. Uh, let's verify some of the logs. The logs are located in the machine agent uh, uh, logs folder. Ph. Let's see machine agent log. Okay started data collector no error found it is good let's verify the an analytic error uh, agent logs Okay, 
let's wait for five minutes and meantime we can we can install the tools or components called stress stress is a utility or a components uh, that can create a virtual load on your machine uh, we are going to install this uh, uh, so that we can see more uh, traffic on our controller uh, uh, to make sure that controller is capturing the right information about the system utilization so let's install the stress okay so you can see the you can see the uh, controller started uh, receive the data from the machine agent and you can see the current data about the cpu about the memory about the disk read and write and uh, you know uh, so we can say uh, we can say the machine agent uh, started to send uh, 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 system utilization data to the controller and we can we can uh, we can uh, see the utilization information on the browser so let's uh, you know make more let's create more uh, load on the server so that we can capture more uh, metrics uh, for the evaluation okay the stress tool has been uh, installed on the machine So you can see here the network IO uh, and network IO KBS and this read and write you can see I because we just uh, install and configure the stress uh, uh, tools on the server that's why you can see more IO and uh, a network packet coming and uh, coming and going out so but you you will see very less uh, activity on the cpu and uh, memory that's okay uh, we are making more uh, you know uh, stress on the server so we have already installed the stress uh, uh, stress components on the machine and let's create more more traffic uh, more traffic till 300 second okay uh, we ran stress stressed uh, on the machine almost uh, uh, 300 second uh, so let's go in the controller so let me you know let me show you once again how you can verify uh, your agent uh, installation uh, is successful or not go into the settings go in the app dynamics agent you can see machine agent and you can see your information about the machine agent here uh, we we selected the machine agent for the open mrs uh, uh, dash broad application and this is my uh, host id now i want to check uh, the system utilization so how how we can check system utilization go into the applications go into the uh, go into the uh, tiers and nodes and click on it you can see the health of your server uh, everything is good and now you can see a uh, system you can see utilization of the cpu uh, you can see utilization of the memory disk read and write uh, network network io packet if you double click on it 
you will see more information about uh, uh, CPU. Uh, you can create, uh, you can select the baseline, uh, and you can close from here. Similar way, you can see more information about the memory. You can create a baseline like I'm selected baseline for uh, 15 minutes, so you can see the baseline of uh, the baseline for 15 minutes. How is your system are performing in last uh, 15 minutes? So uh, you can you know you can uh, you can see the basic uh, uh, system utilization matrix uh, on on this tab. Uh, so at this moment, uh, you know, at this moment, uh, uh, we can see everything is uh, okay. Uh, we can see the uh, CPU utilization, uh, memory utilization, or system utilization matrix are uh, are you know generating uh, successful on the controller side, or event uh, uh, event service are uh, getting the data from the machine agent and. Uh, uh, controller getting data from the event service and displaying on the browser so that's it uh, from this video please join me next video uh, to configure the uh, app dynamics java agent to look at the business transaction for the jsp based application uh, thanks for watching have a nice day